Yo, what's up? This is going to be about the kingdom, throne of miscellanea, all that shit. Um, when I was getting 200 mil fishing, I was doing this pretty much all the time. And I tried to keep up with it pretty much every week. There were some weeks where I didn't do it though and the money ran out. But I always had above like 90 rating and... Ended up having like 1.2k bird's nest by the time I finished fishing. I didn't do it so much at the start. So this is from like last year really. I was just doing it over the last few months. And it turned out pretty good. I got I got pretty unlucky with magic seeds though. Which kind of sucks. I think I opened like 400 nests and didn't even get a magic seed. Um, but it doesn't really bother me. I got so many other seeds it's pretty good for doing absolutely nothing i really recommend doing it i was going to make a guide but i don't think i'm going to do that now because it's really easy all you need to do is do the two quests and then how i do it is i put everything on wood cutting and the rest on the herbs but i think there's better ways to do it now because of the prices of things but that's just an old way of doing it how i do it um you have to look into it I think you maybe putting it on mining is a good one, I'm not sure. But put, putting it all on woodcut is pretty good because you get loads of birds' nests and the seeds are really good. If you do farming or just for selling, magic seeds and use seeds are always worth quite a lot of money just because they're good XP and people are always wanting them. But yeah, I think I ended up getting about 28 mil and uh, for doing absolutely nothing, you can't complain with that. It's really worth it. It's just such a pain in the ass opening them all. I'd recommend like every time you collect your shit. I think you can store your resources in the coffers for a hundred days, and then it gets maxed out. So I'd recommend collecting it like once a week or something, and just emptying it because doing like over a thousand nests at a time is a massive ball ache. But it didn't take too long. Obviously, I've sped this clip up because I'd probably kill myself if I was watching a video of me doing this but yeah got a lot of bird eggs as well but they're really pointless I've already got my birds and no one really cares a lot of rings but they're not worth much it's obviously just the seeds that are pretty good money um, I usually just did this on a Sunday like every Sunday afternoon I'd just go and chop maples and get my rating up and it took like two minutes not even that and just top the money up every now and then. I think I just maxed out the cash. And then when it got low put more in. I think you can put like 7 mil. Is the max you can put in. And that lasts. I think it takes 75k a day or something. Something stupid like that. But yes. Once I did this. I sold it all. Most of it sold. Some of the seeds are crashing. I don't really know why. But. I got quite a bit of cash and I spent that on nothing. It's in my pouch. I don't know what I'm going to spend it on yet. But there should be a price check coming up soon. I've run out of things to say. So yeah. I think I missed out the papaya seeds in this price check. And they were worth 1.2 mil. So it's probably about 30 mil altogether. Which isn't bad. Considering I did absolutely fuck all. So here we go. Price check time. Freed up a lot of space in my bank as well. Because I never, <laughs> never like sold it when I got it, obviously. So yeah. Um, 27 mil is not bad at all. I'd really recommend doing it if you're kind of AFK and stuff. But yeah, 27 mil. I thought I'd make this video just in case people wanted to see how much you can make over a long period of time. So yeah. Cheers for watching. If you enjoyed the video, thumb it up. All that stuff, you know, the drill by now. Uh, just watching.